everyone welcome to so practical today we are gonna do block number two and I finally downloaded the little booklet thing and figured out the names of the chicken salads so this one is for Percy the first one we did was Hattie this one is Percy we have two more to go and I'm gonna try to get them done it's been a little bit hard for me to make <laughs> videos this past week as you if you watch my regular channel I have been under the weather I got the crud and uh, I have been super fatigued so it's been a little bit difficult um, but I'm hoping to get the next block done in a couple of days but we'll see <laughs> I do have another unboxing for you as well so I'll probably do that one next and then do another um, quilt block for you and then we're gonna get all these blocks put together get those sewing machines warmed up and let's go from the chicken salad shapes the so simple shapes the ones that we are going to be using for Percy are M2 M4 M12 M15 and M26 and she does have these listed all on her blog M2 is the only one that we're gonna keep normal the rest we're gonna reverse and draw so here we go I'll start with the biggest one first I am going to start out drawing this on with a pencil, but then I'm going to go over it with marker. I just don't want to stain my template, number one, but also I don't want to get Sharpie all over my cutting mat. Okay, shape number one. These one are these two are gonna be out of the same fabric, so I'm gonna leave those on the same one. And this one, I need two. These look like little ghosts. Two wings. Okay, got our little pieces. We need to pick out fabrics, which I have already done. So my, my fabric scraps here. Put a couple pins in. Now we want to pin right sides together.
to pin this guy on the outside here. Okay, just like before, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew on all of the lines here. So grab my stack and let's go. Okay, these are done. Now we need to cut them out, leaving the quarter inch seam on the outside. What I like about this project too, these don't take very long, these little blocks, especially doing them this way. Okay. <clears throat> now that we've got our blocks, we want to make sure that we do a couple little slices, not into the stitches, but up to the stitches here so that it, um, will, <clears throat> when we turn it right side out, um, these will actually bend a little bit easier and make the curve nicer. And I actually kind of go around and do it to these too. And you especially want to do it to the little leggies. corner pieces off. Anywhere there's an inner curve, you definitely need to clip. Okay. And then... them apart here. Tiny little clip. Just we need enough to turn this right side out. And then you want to get your little pokey thing, 
This is the Clover Two Point Turner, or hair marker, I guess I should call it. Just to get your curves nice. You can use your nails for this. You can use a drumstick, a chopstick, your weapon of choice. <laughs> Okay, and there we go, we have chicken body. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these out and get them turned out and I'm gonna press them and then I'll meet you back over at the table to get these on our little chicken wire block. Okay, I've got the pieces ironed and I am just kind of putting them in place. This one kind of goes here. And the wings. And this one kind of gets tucked under here. <clears throat> okay, I can see it's over too far. I gotta leave leg room. So I think I have everything in good placement. I'm going to use my trusty uh, little tape here. I like to use this. If you like to use a spot of glue, use what you have, what you like. Okay, now that I've got tape in just a couple of spots, I'm going to go ahead and iron these on. Okay, got all these guys ironed on. We need to do legs. I still have a little bit left over from the last project, so I'm going to use this up. And then I'll make another strip if I need to, which I probably will. Okay, I gotta make more leg pieces. Okay, I made more of these. This is just a one inch strip that I cut. I folded it in half, ironed it, and then of course folded it in quarters and ironed it and then ironed the whole thing. And then I, um, I put a stitch through it <laughs> so I don't have to deal with it unfolding. Okay, I am going to put a tiny piece of tape under here where my beak is going and then feet
Okay, there's the toes for each of them. I'm going to iron these on real quick. Okay, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew all of this on and then I'm going to put the toes on last. Okay, so I brought this to the sewing machine and I sewed all around um, all of this stuff and then just attached the little feet. Same way we did the last block. The last thing I need to do is sew a button there for the eye and it will be done. Okay, the Percy block is done. And I thought I had my camera on showing sewing the outside. I think I forgot to hit my button. <clears throat> but you saw how I placed everything and all I did was do a seam as close to the edge as I could. And I just did a regular stitch. Um, that machine only does one stitch on my Juki. But if you have a fancy machine, you can, or if your machine does fancy stitches, you can do any stitch along the outside. Um, I just did a pearly white button for the eye. I couldn't find a blue button. Lots of blue buttons, but no blue that matches this. But I think it turned out cute. So now we have Percy and Hattie. Okay, that's all there is for block number two. It is so cute. And I'll tell you what, while doing these, I'm just pulling from the fabric stash behind me and in my drawer, I'm, I've just been pulling out scraps from my stash and using those to make this runner. It's gonna be very eclectic. Anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook. And I will put the links in below for Lori Holt's blog spot for all the information for these and for the uh, chicken salad cookbook. Um, things that you'll need to make the whole quilt. It's the whole quilt, but I'll link that in the description box below for you as well so that you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.